you guys are going to do a little video of my easy go 36 volt um you see i got a lot of projects going just finishing up the uh rv 32 pastor church bus got it converted into an rv that's a different video i'll do a walkthrough of it another project 347 stroker ford f-150 95 model here we go 2002 easy go txt uh i am uh just done the conversion on it i traded for it it had bad batteries in it when i got it so i upgraded to a 48 volt so you can see all i did was add two more yeah they're trojan t105s 225 amp hours each in there uh I got them i have upgraded this will be the first video of two i will put two in here i'm doing a lift on it obviously right now i'll show you that lift in just a minute but you can see uh brand new t105s trojans i have every wire on this thing that carries power is um is two gauge i upgraded to two gauge on everything uh, I ran out, didn't have enough in the kit. I ordered a kit from Amazon. It came with, I think, 13 wires, and I was like three or four short. So that's why that over there, but that's still a two-gauge wire. I made the ones in the back. If you can see them back there, of course, I had to, uh, but all the ones going to my motor, uh, they're all two-gauge with everything. Here's a 600. It's a SR48600, 600-amp 600 controller all tracks controller see it's uh the resistor had to be changed the uh, diode had to be changed and that's a big heavy duty 400 amp solenoid uh i was told i didn't change the forward and reverse switch on this because i was told that the easy goes had a heavy duty uh, forward and reverse switch from the factory and it didn't need to be changed um so if I had a club car or Yamaha, it would need to be, but the Easy Goes didn't have to be, so I didn't. That's, that was over $100 more. So anyway, I completely upgraded, and this thing rocks now. Um, it will, two or three people on it, um, and this stock motor, I didn't change the motor yet. Um, I, was, I heard great things about the little two horsepower motor, as long as it was the black one. There's a black cover and a gray covered motor for these Easy Goes. And there's two separate motors. I don't remember which is which. But if you got the motor with the black cover, they said that it really, really it helps like tenfold uh, when you upgrade to a 48 volt system um, with that Alltrax controller. And I heard the gray cover didn't really help um, as much as the black cover. So anyway, due to the fact you got the black cover, long story short, I was just going to leave it stock since the motor is perfectly fine. I was going to leave it stock and um, just see what it felt like. And I tell you what, with three people on that thing, um, it will take off in the grass and just just light the tires up. And I know we're talking about a golf cart, but still, it will just spin at will. Uh, my wife and I on it, on hard packed gravel road, on level ground, just flooring it, it will actually spin the tires for about eight to 10 feet before it hooks up and goes. It is a huge difference, enough torque, uh, now, I do have the small tires. I do have, um, you can see right here, the 17s. I kept, I'm keeping the same 10 inch wheels, but I did get 23 inch. Um, they are the Maxxis Bighorn clones, 23 by sevens. And that's what I'm putting on these 10 inch wheels. Uh, so uh, that should pick my mile an hour up. I went from stock cart with almost dead batteries, 11 miles an hour on flat ground now it runs 18 miles an hour on flat ground with two people and running tire conversion charts and stuff on uh, or google and it's seeing what it's going to change it from a 17 inch tall tire to a um 23 inch tall tire it said it will change it uh anywhere from seven to nine miles an hour greater so on level ground i should be at least getting 25 uh, miles an hour on level ground uh, possibly faster now, that's with a bone stock motor so this is what i was wanting to show you this is the front end that i'm just pulled out of here um it took some damage at some point because you can see um it's straight it's a straight axle except till you get to that side and that side dropped down about a about a three quarters of an inch looks like to the left there so it's been hit pretty good right in here at some point i don't know how that took the lick but it did what I wanted to show you was 
See, this is a, just a channel. It's just open back. And I know we're talking about golf carts and we don't have to be heavy, heavy duty. But uh, still, I wanted to show you this um, six inch drop axle that I got off of, uh, I believe it's Amazon. Um, got it for $122. Um, and it is enclosed. It's, it's, uh, it's really heavy built. Um, and it's already got the drop made in the axle, which I think will be a whole lot stronger than a spindle drop lift. Um, so this is just, on, I got this for, like I said, $120, $130. It came with everything. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I guess I'll find out. I'll, I'll watch some videos and find out what that is. But this is, uh, this is another thing I wanted to show you. It also came with a new, I uh, said, a tie rod here. Um, and look at the absolute difference between the stock and the new one. It's night and day. Um, see how much I had to taper down for the threads on the new one? This thing is more than twice as uh, heavy, beefy as the stock one. So I guess they done it knowing people were going to put big wheels and tires on it. But anyway, just wanted to show you this, and I will show you. Uh, it'll be, I'll go ahead and post this, and it'll be a little while before I um, am able to get the second part up. But hope you enjoy any questions. Uh, just comment in the bottom, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.